Quick question, do you know what squid jig to use in overcast conditions? Neutral or bright? Let's find out. If you open your squid jig wallet and you're unsure what jig to put on, if you've got conditions like this, it is a nice day, but it's overcast, low light conditions. I'm gonna run a test, run two jigs side by side. We're gonna have a redhead, which is an all time favorite for most people. And I put that up against a nice bright hot pink. We're gonna check neutral against hot. See which one comes out on top. I reckon it'll be the redhead. See how we go. Let's start the test. All right, let's get it back down there. In the first area I tried, we found ourselves over some broken bottom. Patchy weed, a little bit of rubble, and this was about six meters of water. It wasn't long until we found a squid. Now let's just analyze this for a second. Firstly, there's a squid hanging behind the pink jig in the background that I reckon is a second squid. So I actually reckon there's two squid there, but both of them appear to have come from the left-hand side, which means they would have come past the pink jig before hitting the redhead. So that's one for redhead. In the second test, we find ourselves over some more preferable ground. There's a mixture of weed here, which is generally at the type of area that I'll tend to look for squid. We're in about eight meters of water, and it didn't take long until we got the attention of yet another squid. Oh, look at that, the old redhead again. Like the previous squid, this one went straight for the lure. It completely turned a blind eye to the pink lure. Bear in mind, these are both identical jigs by the same manufacturer, just different colors. There's no difference between them, but he completely avoided one, went straight past it, no hesitation, and hit the redhead. Maybe he's more confident in the fact that he came out of a more heavily vegetated area, but what's plain to see here is he came straight past the first jig, which was closer to him, and went for the second jig. Number three. Number three. Oh, and the red head again. That's a cuttlefish. Unfortunately, my camera died and I okay, missed buddy. out just by seconds this amazing cuttlefish taking, yet again, the redhead. There we go, cuttlefish. Overcast day, redhead came on top over the pink. No surprises there. I've always been a fan of this lure, so if you're in doubt, go the redhead. It's a winner.